you want to head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to look next to BIOS version slash date and you want to take a note of which BIOS version that you have. So I've got F62, so just take a note of your BIOS version. You should also take note of your system model as well. So for me, I'm using the B450M DS3H. So then you want to head over to any web browser and then you want to type in your BIOS name. And then you want to type it in on the web browser and then go to the website. If you're using the B450M DS3H though, there are two versions on it. So I've got version one, you might have version two. So go to the correct website. Now once you're on the website, you want to click on support. And then you want to click on CPU support. You want to see which CPU requires which BIOS. So let's say that you want to upgrade to the Ryzen 5 5600. So here it is right here. You want to look for which BIOS version that you need. So you need F60. So now you want to scroll back up and then you want to click on downloads. Then you want to scroll down and then click on BIOS. Now once you're on this, you want to look for the BIOS version that you want. So here's F60, you want to download this. But before you download this, you want to look at where it says note on the other BIOS updates. So it says that you need BIOS F40 if you want to proceed above this. So you want to go down and then you want to make sure that you have F40 already installed. So you can use system information to check which version that you're running. But if you already do have F40, then you can go back up and then you can download F60. As you can see, there is no note here that's telling you anything. So you can just download it after you have F40. So now we're going to download it. For the sake of this tutorial, I've downloaded F66 because I'm already on F62. So now once you have your download, I have it here on my desktop. You want to head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on File Explorer, you want to have a USB that is formatted as FAT32. This means that your USB drive needs to be 32 gigabytes or below. So once you have your USB drive, you want to make sure that all of the data is backed up because you're going to format it as FAT32. So you want to click on your drive. If you have any data, you can just move it to your desktop for now. Now you want to right click on your drive and then click on format and then under file system you want to select FAT32. Now this will only work if you have a USB drive that is 32 gigabytes or below which will let you format it as FAT32 but I'm going to leave a link down below in the description for drives that are larger than 32 gigabytes which you can format as FAT32 but keep in mind that I'm not 100% sure if this will work with your BIOS. You can try that video if you want to see if it works but me personally I recommend just buying a drive that's less than 32 gigabytes. You can check out that video which will be in the description, watch it and then come back to this video. Now once you have FAT32 selected, you want to click on start. Make sure that your data is backed up and then click on OK. Which will then format the drive as FAT32. Now you want to right click on your download and then you want to click on extract all. Click on browse and then you want to locate where you have your driver. So for me it's on this PC, this drive right here, click on select folder and then click on extract. Now once it's been extracted, you should have your BIOS file. You might have some extra files as well. You will notice your BIOS file if it has the highest size out of all the files that it might come with. But it should be your BIOS name and then dot and then the BIOS version. Now once you do that, you want to make sure that your USB is plugged into your motherboard. So you want to plug the USB in the back of your case instead of the front. Now once you've done all of that, we want to restart our computer and then get into our BIOS. So once you restart our computer, you want to spam the delete key or it might be a different key. But if you're using a beautiful 50 m DS3H like me, it's most likely going to be the delete key. So once you restart your computer, just spam it on your keyboard, just spam delete. So you want to click on the Windows Start icon, and then click on the power button, and then click on Restart. Now the computer's restarting, just spam delete on your keyboard. This will appear, spam delete, which will then take you into here. Now if it looks something like this, which is safe mode, you want to click on F2 on your keyboard. And then you want to hover over the arrow on the bottom. And then you want to click on Q Flash. And then you want to click on update BIOS. You want to select your BIOS version and then you want to update it. I'm not going to update it personally for me because I'm already on the BIOS version that is good enough for my CPU. But you just want to double click on your BIOS version and then it will do the update for you. Make sure that you do not turn off your computer. And then once the update has been done, you can go back into Windows and then you can install your new CPU. 